talking about how even though we cannot see God, we still know he is there. Romans 1.20 says, For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his external power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. So basically this is just explaining that God is still there in spirit. He doesn't have to be there physically, but um, we can still know that he is with us. So we have a question. Have you ever seen air? Now take a deep breath. What did you just breathe in? Air, right? It's invisible, but it's still there. We would not be able to breathe without it. Here's our demonstration of air. Balloon. <laughs> There's air in the balloon, right? Yeah. Hey, now look in the balloon. Wait, wait till, see, look, does anything come out of the balloon? Oh my God. <laughs> Nothing came out of the balloon. And that's because air came out of the balloon, but you can't see it. And so that's pretty much our demonstration of, like, I'm trying to say this. Um, you can't see what, who God is, but you can feel him. Like, you can feel the air. And so, um, just like air, we can't see God, but we know he's all around us, and we feel him close to us. So now we're going to go to a demonstration of a pinwheel, pinwheel, and how you can't exactly see Jesus, but you can feel him moving you. Hey guys, it's craft time, and today we're going to be making a pinwheel. So, first, with parent supervision, of course, you're going to cut out a 6 by 6 square of any kind of paper. Then, you're going to make about a 1 inch diameter circle in the middle of the paper. And your parents will know what that means, so just don't worry about that. So, once you have it, it'll look kind of something like this. You can make a little dot in the middle to help you find the center. And then, on each of the little... oh. First, you have to cut from each corner into the middle. Parent supervision, of course. So, <laughs> there is a template for this that you can find online. Matt will put the link in the bio or wherever he wants to put it. But basically, there's going to be a dot here, a dot here, a dot here, and a dot here. And then, ask your parents to puncture a hole in each of the dots with a simple push pin, and then we'll move on to the next step. So the next step is where everything comes together. So you're going to want to start by turning the paper upside down, and then you're going to line up all the holes. And an easy way that I find to do this is um, let your parents do this, of course, because there are sharp objects involved. Put the pin through the bottom, and then you just put all the different things on top and it'll fold up and become a pinwheel. Okay, so once you line up all the holes, you're gonna stick a tack through the center, and then we're ready for the next step. Okay, so next you're gonna need a pencil, unsharpened for safety purposes, and one with an eraser is needed. And then you take the back of the push pin and you're going to put it into the eraser. You want to leave a little bit of space so you can still spin it, but then it works. It helps if you blow on it, but yeah. Right. So along with our pinwheel craft, we have a few questions to ask. Well, it's really just one question. But what is making the pinwheel spin? Well, I feel like that's a question we can all answer. It's air, it's wind, and it's something that we can't see. And sometimes we may feel like we're not with God, but obviously we know that the air's there, we know that the wind's there. So thanks for tuning into Craft Time with us. Hope you enjoy. Yeah. So basically, we know God is always at work, and we can see it through the rain he brings us, the sun, the flowers, the joy, the food, and so much more. We can always be sure that God is with us and helps us with whatever we need. You don't need to see God to know that he's there and he's working in our lives.